in the May SKB tournament, there was a clash between uh, two pairs of siblings. The first one was between Akash and Aditya. This was, I believe, round three. And uh, the second one was between Aspi and Ambi. That was very fiercely fought. And uh, uh, that was round five. So let's see how those two games went and which brother or sister had the upper of the other. Aga, Aditya plays c4. Agash plays e5. Knight out, knight out. Aditya is pretty English. Yeah, this is his go to opening. Uh, takes. Bishop takes. Queen c2. E4, e4. That's a nice move by Agash. Clamping down on the center. Queen e6. Defending the knight. Takes back. Of course, queen takes would be bad because of queen e4. Takes back. b3. Castle is long. So, Agash has complicated the position. Yeah. So, trying to confuse Aditya, I guess. And uh, Aditya, I believe, is in a better position because Black will have a very hard time creating anything about the White King if he castles this side. But castling this side is going to be difficult. But he can still go knight e2 and castles. But uh, let's see what Aditya does. Aditya played e3. Yeah. He's going to castle short. Uh, pawn h5. Yeah, that's his, that's his uh, idea. So basically, Aditya needs two moves to castle. And then he'll have to start pushing these pawns. Once he gets these pawns rolling, it'll be good for him. But the problem is he's behind in developing. So Agash takes full. He goes f5. So that uh, is a little surprise. Yeah, I think h4 was better. f5, castles. This is looking good for Aditya. Knight comes to a beautiful square on f4. And then uh, just c5, b5, b4. B6. I mean, b4, b5. That should be the goal for Aditya. I believe this should be good for white. I think it should be better. Here. Let's see if my evaluation is right. Yeah, it's equal. <laughs> okay. Equal. Let's see what happened. Tanks. Tanks. c4. Rook moves. Queen c3. Attacking the rook. Queen e5. So Agash is ready to go to the end game. Why is he ready to go to the end game? Because the knight will have a beautiful score on f3. So will white knight on d4 or f4. And Agash's pawns are doubled. So rook d1. So so far it's okay for the younger brother, for Aditya, who's playing white. f4. But now now comes the problem. The problem is uh, the problem is rook will come to d2 so easily. So Aditya should have played knight d4, attacking the pawn, and then stop c5 by just pushing pushing c5 himself. That would have been a nice way to continue. But he goes f4, knight f3, directly knight f3. First of all, Mr. Aga, Agash forgot on the sun. Both of them, both of them forgot on the sun. It's a free pawn basically. White might get it back, but with some hard work. So black should have taken it. But he goes knight f3. King g2, rook d3. Now he's winning a pawn. Agash is winning a pawn. King f2, takes. Rook a1, passivity. Another pawn lost. Now Agash is winning. Knight g4 check. Another pawn gone. Knight d3 was better here. Because knight d3 would defend the pawn and also attack c4. Rook takes, takes. Rook back. Agash has still got everything under knight d3 and goes for the rook and game. May not have been the best decision because now it's just one pawn up. It's a pretty strong pawn, advanced, I mean, fast and advanced. And white stroke is a little more active, so I'm not so sure. Pawn push. Why not king f3? You should have just gone king f3. But even then, he'd be pawned down. King comes in. Now, did he take it? Yeah, he took it. But now it's a pawn game that is very easy to convert. So, Aditya's best chance would have been not to exchange rooks and go. Continue with the rook and game. Yes, black will have a pass pawn still, but that's his best chance. But he, black will have extra two pawns, but that's his best chance. Now the other game between the two sisters. Hmm, I think Ambi is the elder sister. So Ambi versus Asmi. Ambi played uh, e4, e4, e5, knight out, knight out, bishop, bishop e5. So Ambi has been trying some different openings, I believe, recently. And she's gone... For the Rui Lopez, a6, bishop, c4. That's a, that's a slight inaccuracy, I believe. 
that bishop is better on a4 to keep pressuring the c6 knight and the e5 pawn. Bishop c5 d3. And now it becomes a like equal piano. No? Just look like equal piano with the extra a6 movement. Knight f6 castles. It's a quiet position. Takes, takes. d6, h3, bishop out, b3. White's sponsor is slightly bad because they're doubled. Bishop back. Nice move by Asmi. Uh, knight d5. Knight d5. Take so. Asmi won a pawn. Then she should have converted this move. Let's see what happened. Pawn b4. c6. Another good move. Bishop takes, rook takes. Knight back. Knight f6. So now what is Asmi's plan? Just play d5 somehow. Move the bishop. Get rook e8 and get the rook back to a8. Play d5. That's the goal. Or just hold the position. Rook back. But now rook d1 and the pawn is gone. Or almost gone. Knight e8 defends it. But now knight takes. Okay. And we takes back the pawn with a pin. She has fallen to pins twice. Or was it Asmi? In the same tournament, Asmi, I think, did not understand pin a little. I mean, wasn't aware of the pin threat and... Uh, Lost a pawn exactly like this. And queen f6, knight comes back, rook d8, so it's all equal now. Queen d4, going for a pure endgame. And d4, another exchange coming? No, bishop c8. Tasmi keeps the bishops. Knight f5, okay, now the knight's also active. Takes, takes. Now the knight is the most active piece on the board. Tasmi is in trouble. c5, allows d5, blocking out the d5. So, but then c4 again, yeah? C4. <laughs> Knight f6. Takes, 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 takes. This is now good for white. Knight d6 is there. White can just bring the rook to e1, knight d6. f7 pawn is under pressure, b7 pawn is under pressure. How will, how will black defend? Oh, she didn't play knight d6. If she played knight d6, she would have probably won a pawn. Yeah, knight d6 would have got her the pawn because... How will black defend this? Ah, by playing pawn takes. I mean b5. b5 again. But yeah, I don't know why she didn't go for knight d6. Rook uh, e1. At least now knight d6? No, she wants to exchange. That's not a good position. She thinks the white rook is very active, so it's good. But uh, what will the rook actually do on the 7 rank? I want black plays rook b8. Takes, takes. Rook b8. King f6 now. King f6. Rook is forced to come back because rook d7. The rook will get slightly trapped there with king moves. But yeah, it's, it won't get trapped completely. But yeah, it won't be useful. Rook e8. King comes in. Rook d5. Rook d3. And we have a pawn in game. So the sisters have uh, basically made so many peace offerings. And gone to a... Like without too many complications, they've exchanged of everything. And they're going in for the pawn in game. The pawn game is dead, dead draw. Uh, f5. White still has a better pawn structure looking at this. A5, but how to create anything there? Black goes g5. Yeah. White king mm. takes, 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 takes. Wait, there was a mistake. Takes. King e4. That's so difficult. So difficult to find king e4 right there. Basically, the idea is black is get these pawns rolling fast. Then, because the black king is more active, there will be chances. Takes, takes, king b5, king b4. Again, now black can push, no? h5, king b5, king b4. It's a slightly unnecessary move. How does the king go in there? You can start pushing the pawns, isn't it? Like g4, king b4, okay, fine. King b4 is fine. Uh, king b6, f4. G3. Wow, this is looking good, no? Now if you get F3 and King D3, E2, that, that's gone. If black plays F3. Asmi is winning. If you exchange, then, then there's nothing. She exchanged. Okay, then there's nothing. But just two versus two. Wait. It just still likes black. Let's see. Pawn takes. Okay, because of black king, it's now a pawn race. Hmm. How will you exactly win this? Oh, just without the pawn, just king c4. Oh yeah, king c4 would have won the pawn, no? Yep, king c4 would have won the pawn because king c4 and then... 
Yeah. Black has no, uh, white has no moves. White has to move the king, white in six turns. If white pushes, black just blocks. Anyway, king d5 and now Polish Ford takes things. Now the game is a dead draw because black cannot really afford to go away and take this pawn that's too far away. And uh, black will just stay here, white will stay here. And that's how the game ended in the draw. After a threefold repetition. So hopefully it, the game hasn't led to a uh, fight in the home between the two because it has ended in a draw. Maybe Ambi will be slightly more happy because she was she is the underdog somewhat in based on rating in chess platform. Here the ratings are stabilized, so we don't this doesn't matter. But yeah, so these were the two interesting sibling games in the tournament.